Meanwhile, Rite Aid workers are inching toward a possible strike after the union announced another unsuccessful contract negotiation. If they move forward, they'll join CVS, where union employees have already voted to authorize a strike. Kasha Gogorczyk is live in Tierra Santa with more on what comes next. Kasha. And Maria, even though CVS has voted to authorize that strike, they are holding off for now. As for Rite Aid, they've went ahead, went ahead and scheduled a strike author authorization vote. That is going to happen in just a couple weeks. And these two contract disputes affect thousands of employees across California, hundreds right here in San Diego. Employees at another major drugstore are considering a strike. Rite Aid as a whole, Everything except for the manager and assistant manager, their union. Thousands of Rite Aid store clerks, pharmacists, and farm techs say they are underpaid and many times not able to use paid time off due to staffing. They also want to keep their hours. The company has made proposals about full time, reducing full time hours to, to 35 hours a week. Uh, I think we're very clear to them that that is something we're not going to negotiate on. We, we stand by the 40 hour work week. Rite Aid announced through a press release earlier this month following its filing for Chapter 11 and restructuring that it marks a new beginning as a stronger company with a better store footprint, more efficient operating model and significantly less debt. However, after months of unsuccessful negotiations, United Food and Commercial Workers Union Local 135 says members are ready to hold a strike authorization vote October 15th through the 17th. There is another negotiation scheduled one day prior on the 14th. Many of them have 20 and 30 years with a the company. They're there because they care about our community, uh, not, not so much for the company. The union also represents thousands of CVS workers across California, including here in San Diego. Those members overwhelmingly voted to authorize a strike just last week. CVS uh, members themselves cannot afford their own company's health care. And that's embarrassing. Meantime, CVS officials have said they are confident they can work toward an agreement that supports workplace safety, staffing, and competitive wages and benefits. Now, we mentioned the union returns to the bargaining table with Rite Aid on October 14th with CVS. They'll meet on October 16th before any kind of an official strike happens. And we did also reach out to Rite Aid this evening. If they do respond to us with an official statement, we'll be sure to update this report. Reporting live in Tierra Santa tonight, Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. Kasia.